What is the best way to learn pre-calculus? So first, what is pre-calculus? Pre-calculus is basically a bunch of math that people have thrown together and called pre-calculus and they've turned it into a course. And it's a course you usually take before you take calculus. It has a lot of algebra, it's got some matrices, it's got a bunch of random topics that seem to just be magically thrown together. And these topics are things that will come up in various calculus courses. You'll see them in Calc 1, you'll see them in Calc 2, and even in Calc 3. So what's the best way to learn it? Well, let's answer that by first reading a very, very short email. This email inspired this video. It's a really fun email. The person's name is Richard, and I'll leave his last name out of it. The subject is pre-calculus, and the message is the following. Oh, mighty math sorcerer, I could use some of your guidance. I am starting pre-calculus next semester and would like some help from your video collection. I do not see a course for pre-calculus, so I was wondering what would be a good substitute. I took intermediate algebra and earned an A last semester for whatever that's worth. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your content on YouTube. Awesome. Well, thank you, Richard. So I do have some advice. You're right. I don't have a pre-calculus course. I completely forgot that I've started a course. I've started working on it, but it's really, really far from being done. So what can you do? Well, my advice would be to check out my college algebra course. That's the first thing you should do. My courses are on Udemy, but if you get them, please, please use my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com for a few reasons. One, I've lowered the price to make the price as low as possible. So when you click the links from my website, it takes you straight to Udemy and it should give you a low price. And two, when you use my links, it helps me greatly. Otherwise, Udemy takes a huge cut, like almost all of it. So it helps me greatly if you use those links. So I've got a course on college algebra that can help you. I've also got a trigonometry course. It's, it's two courses. Those courses can help you also learn trig, which go kind of go hand in hand with pre-calc, right? In college, they're separate courses, pre-calc and trig. But when you buy a book, typically you buy a pre-calc book and it has both subjects in it. So yeah. So that's my advice as far as courses. As far as books though, I do have some advice. I have a book here. This is a book uh, that I have used to teach in the past. I have lots of pre-calc books and I had a hard time picking one for this video, but I chose this one because if you do get my trig course, this one will help you with my trig course, perhaps a little bit more. Although most of the modern pre-calc books, like they even have like the same section titles, like they're almost all identical. They're very, very similar. And my course follows a modern book. It kind of follows this one. So it has that modern structure to it. So any book should work, but this is a good one. It's called A Graphical Approach to Algebra and Trigonometry by Hornsby, Lyle, and Roxwald. This is the instructor's edition. Um, any edition is fine. And it's got answers to the odd numbered problems. It smells so good. And it's got a ton of mathematics. It's got so much math in there. It's got trig, pre-calc, it's got some algebra. I mean, you're gonna find so much math in there. So my advice would be to sit down with the book, pick a time that you can study and start doing mathematics every single day, every day. And if it was up to me, if you can make it happen, do it. Do it in the morning, you know, wake up and have coffee if you drink coffee or eat breakfast if you eat breakfast, whatever you do in the morning, do it. Get yourself awake and start doing some mathematics. Even if you just do math for like 15 to 20 minutes, it's going to make such a difference in your performance. It's going to make a difference in your clarity of mind. It's going to change your life. It's going to make a huge impact on your life. You know, who does that? Who gets up every day and does math before going to work or going to school? Almost no one. And it makes a huge difference. It's going to make you better. Pre-calc is a tough one. It's a tough course. I don't want to scare you. My experience with pre-calc was okay. <laughs> I don't know if it was great. Uh, it was okay. You know, there was some issues, but I thought I was going to get an A and I ended up with a B. So that wasn't good. That was one of the things. And I thought it was a cool course. I really thought I was going to do well, but I, I mean, I, I got a B. B's get degrees, right? So yeah, that's my advice for pre-calc. 
get a book like this one again. I'll leave a link in the description, by the way. And I'll try to leave a couple links. Maybe I can find other editions. And you can just click the links and then search for used copies of those books. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's on Amazon. So, so yeah. And my course is, again, mathsorcerer.com. And then just do a little bit every day and, and you'll be good. You'll be good. There's some subjects in pre-calc that are harder to learn than others. So I actually do have videos here on my YouTube channel that you can reference. You can just go to my channel and like search for the topic. Like if you're stuck on partial fractions, just search for partial fractions, type in partial fractions math sorcerer. Or like if you're doing induction, I actually have, um, I actually have really good induction videos. I'll, I'll give myself props here because I do think my proofs are really clear and solid. Um, I've always been really good at, at proof writing. It's something I was always really good at, at producing mathematics, at demonstrating. I've always ber been very good at like explaining but I always had a hard time understanding. You know, I'm one of those people that was always very good at structure, but had a hard time with the conceptual part. It wasn't until I started teaching mathematics that I really got good at the conceptual stuff. I'm getting goosebumps because I'm remembering my past struggles and how I overcame most of them. So yeah, that's my advice for pre-calc. If anyone else has advice for learning pre-calc or any interesting stories to share about pre-calc, leave a comment. It's it's such a cool subject. You do so many useful things. And uh, hopefully uh, you get a good pre-calc teacher and you have a good experience. I had a really good teacher, but uh, I, I just didn't get an A and I thought I was going to get one and I'm still a little bit bitter about it. But hey, it doesn't affect my life today, right? But I really thought I was going to get an A in that pre -cut class and we had this, this multiple choice final exam and I walked out and I thought, I, I, I think I got them right. I think I picked the right choices on most of the questions. And no, no, it didn't happen. Ended up getting a B in pre-calc and, and an A in trig. Not what uh, I expected. So yeah, if you found any value in this content at all and you want to subscribe, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And remember, math is hard. Pre-calc is hard. And it's, it's a struggle for everyone. It's a struggle for everyone. The good thing is, too, the good thing, since we're talking about pre-calc, once you're done with pre-calc, you're ready for calc. Like once you know pre-calc and trig, you're ready for calc. And, and to me, calc is so much more interesting. It's, it's just, it's a whole nother beast. You know, it's like this whole new area of mathematics. You know, it used to be called the calculus. I actually have really old books and they're called the calculus. Like it was like a thing like, oh, I've learned about the calculus, like this mysterious creature known as the calculus. Now they just call them calculus. But yeah, once you get through pre-calc, you can jump into calc and you're probably going to find it easier. Many people say that in pre-calc, you'll find harder problems than you will in calc books. There's some really hard pre-calc questions. If you've ever done like math competitions, some of those pre-calc competition level problems are insanely hard. And the calc ones are pretty easy. Once you understand like some of the core concepts in calculus, like what is an integral or what is a derivative? How is it all related? You know, learn the big theorems, mean value theorem, intermediate value theorem. You learn all the key concepts. It becomes a little bit easier to solve the problems. But with pre-calc, I don't know, you still get some really tricky problems that just, they're, they're still hard. No matter how much math you know, those problems are tough. Anyways, I'm ranting. Hopefully uh, you got something out of this video and you know how to learn pre-calculus now. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.